The Thinite nobles still struggle to unite the lands of the Nile under one supreme ruler. To aid them in their cause, it is hoped that you will endeavor to establish a thriving community at Perwajit, in the humid delta region of Lower Egypt, thus spreading their influence throughout the length of the sacred river. To support a population larger than that of a village, you must learn to use agriculture. Egyptian farmers have begun to exploit the rich fertile soil deposited by the annual inundation of the Nile River for growing crops. The Nile can be hazardous, however. Many dangers lurk along its banks and in its waters, such as deadly crocodiles, hippopotamuses, and malaria-carrying mosquitoes. Who the fuck dies by hippo hippopotamus? Okay, hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, now we get to some of the really fucking cool stuff. Alright, let me just slow the game down to a crawl. Uh, I think now is the time that we're gonna actually be able to do some proper shit with the roads, but you know what, we're still gonna just... We're still gonna do lazy formation beta alpha 12. Uh, cause that's the way it works. So, this is actually one of the cooler parts of the game now. So now we get farms and we get work camps. So we just kinda just make uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a water supply like, I don't know, right here. Make a work camp slightly further away from it. Now we start making fig farms on the Nile. So this is a mechanic, a core part of the game that you must learn. Uh, and it's actually kind of neat if you're, I guess, into kind of history-ish stuff. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how accurate necessarily any of this is, but it just seems kind of like a neat thing. You don't see this every day in like um, a game like this, so I, I it, it actually just really impressed me. So, so here I'm just um, I'm kind of making fig farms in the Nile here, or whatever the fuck this is. It's the Nile, but. So, it needs to be kind of reachable by road, so we kind of have to uh, finagle it around, but we're going to make like tons and tons of this stuff, because uh, the the Nile thing is like a seasonal thing, so as soon as that the agricultural season is up, then we're fucked, and I probably shouldn't have put that there, actually. There you go, put it down there, because the road will just bend kind of over here, bend to my will. This is honestly the worst farming uh, pattern I've ever made in my entire life. It's glorious. This is why I upload videos to YouTube and I'm not a farmer. And you guys will probably be more than likely happy about to hear that. But we go and you make a ton of this shit. As long as as long as one kind of tile is reachable right by road, then we're we're good. As you can see, you can't really do it perfectly. But, you know what, we're not about perfection here, we're about memes, and we have no standards, so, that's how, this is how this goes. Uh, let's see, let's last fig farm, fuck this fig farm. So, I, I kind of just build it all the way, because these cost, like, what, these cost 48 uh, decibels, so, they don't, they don't really cost anything major, so, we can just do something like, my god. I'm just not allowed to have fun here, according to this game. I'll just do something like this. Uh, this guy... This guy... Can I put one more in here? No. Whatever, I, it's good enough, trust me. This is like... They will barely... They will barely kind of do all this. You can see they are, or they're already populating this area with uh, things. So now, the next really important thing is we need granaries. And the reason we need granaries... Is because, um, eventually... They're gonna, like, when it, they, it's all has to be stored somewhere, otherwise we lost, so. Uh, which you're gonna be hearing me say a lot, so. Um, we're gonna make a temple to Osiris, let's say right here. This guy gets to live right beside the temple to Osiris. And, oh, of course we need firehouses. So, um, I, I, I can, I'm predicting in any moment now, all my houses and shit are gonna just burn down to the ground. And as predicted coming soon I swear so we, we, we need to store basically like the Nile has like it's I, I forget what it's called let me see if this this tells me about it so uh, you build work camps for it okay and they won't have to walk too far uh, just before holy shit that word okay this word right here that I'm pointing it with my mouse I'm just gonna say it's farming season is over motherfucker that's what I'm gonna say 
Holy shit. I'm not good at pronouncing things, I'll be honest, and I knew that this game would be a challenge for me. In, a, in more ways than one. Alright, so what do we have else? Um, we, as you can see, we don't actually have the... Uh, well, we have the village palace. But there's no raw materials this time, so we can't, like, just mine gold. You can't just make free fucking, like, bullshit every time you want, like, food. That's not the, that's not the way this works. I'm thinking of making a shrine to Osiris here. Because these guys are complaining. What the hell? So these guys got kicked out of their home. Out of my home and through no fault of my own. Ah, sucker. You know what? This guy, this guy doesn't need road access, so you know, fuck that guy. So these guys are just gonna like, like literally for this food, because we have no other, we have no other options for food. It's just teaching you that, um, it's a part of life. You will have to do this shit. And it just occurred to me that I actually kind of want like. A road axis over here, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go change this around actually. These last ones. Because you know what? It's actually a giant pain in the dick to for them to kind of like constantly go over here, so we're gonna do this. Fuck, okay, we're missing one farm, so we lost. Efficiency over, guys. Lack of housing prevents immigration. Well, you know, we can just make a couple more. Just gonna make like one more little block there. To be honest, I don't really need that many people, because there's already too few jobs for people. You see, you want know fuck them. You know what? No, nobody's gonna immigrate here. We're gonna build some memes and we're gonna make uh I don't know what countries beside Egypt. The rest of Africa pay for it, whatever, fuck. Alright, so as you can see, the whatever farming season's fucking done. There are so many places this asshole's like in the middle of the the swamp here, but that's fine, or whatever the hell this is called. But it's very fertile because like the water kind of comes in based upon the seasons, or whatever. I have I have absolutely no idea about the science around this shit. All I know is that it fu it's fucking magic, guys. But you know this may interest you in like a way like uh, historically, I guess, if you're like interested in this kind of shit, to basically um, look up how this shit kind of works. It with like Egypt, but that's like apparently something they did or something something similar. I don't know how much of it is adapted from like games and stuff. It was industry. We're back to industry. We have pottery. And so they have like a little thing here of okay, so you need you wanna we wanna make pottery, because pottery is also something that goes to like the houses like it as well. And we can also sell it. So it's, it's something that's important. So it goes to kinda of to the bazaar as well, you know, it's kinda of one of those things. So generally this is how it works. Um we start with the raw resource, and the raw resource would be clay pit. So we go, okay, here's our clay pit right there. Um, and then we realize that we fucked up and there's absolutely no space to make uh, places for this. Because I have to tell you, everybody fucking hates living beside this shit. Um, but that's okay, because we're gonna make the pottery things right there, and hopefully these guys, these guys are gonna complain about it, motherfuckers. I don't know, I'll, I'll move it around, because it's going to bother me, it, it being there. This is like the worst fucking thing I've ever done. We're probably going to have to make, like, houses over here. And uh, some additional, uh... This did, this did not work out as planned, by the way, at all. Okay, Nick can have a well. It's because I feel like it's the well is, like, always underappreciated. So, here we have, um, some guys wanting to upgrade. They need some better desirability. For some reason, the game still refuses to give me many options for that, but, you know, that's whatever. You know what, we can use more temple to- another temple to Osiris. Osiris- Osiris is a big boy. And you know what we also need? We also need some edutainment. We're gonna make a- oh shit. Oh shit, that was- that was some fucking crime I saw happening. They were coming out and they wanted to do some criming. Well, luckily for us, the police are gonna be on the job. Let's see how the risk for a crime. Yo, what the fuck? A tinderbox for unrest. Why? I'm the most popular person in this city. Oh, because of high unemployment. Well, you know what? Oh, dude, look, he's just whipping his ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> that guy got fucked up. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's... whatever. It's fine. We're gonna... they're gonna be jugglers and stuff. What is there on... see, you know, I would totally go look. Uh, unemployment, but it's gonna be like, you know what, let's just make another work camp, fuck it. Oh my god, nothing- nobody can work here, because nobody wants to move into the city. Fucking hell. See, okay, now this is the perpetual problem. 
Nobody lives close enough to work at the... Actually, wait, they do work at these, don't they? No, what? Okay, why are these occupied and these are not? Like, it's just the game is really random when it does this stuff. Let's just make a work camp, like, over here. Because that's actually a good way of dealing with it. You know, I wish I could see my unemployment rate, but... Oh, actually, we can. Okay, I have no reason to complain anymore. Uh, so in the in this menu here, we can see our unemployment rate, and we can see we can actually we can actually give priority to the things. So we can say, hey, food is the most important, so we'll take all the workers from there. Usually, just kind of like randomly distributes them oddly, kind of a thing. That's okay. We're gonna give them some more some more jobs. And you know what we're also gonna do? We're gonna make them another bazaar because I'm just feeling bizarre today. I'm also gonna make tons of puns. Uh, okay, so this, your city suffers from uh, health problems as expected. Uh, so we have malaria management, uh, which is something that can happen. So I think we're gonna, it's gonna give us some uh, malaria issues right now. Uh, it says malaria is prevalent close to water and marshland. Uh, so we need a pocket theory or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, so. So it will reduce the risk of uh, malaria and then this guy will actually treat it. So, it'll prevent it from spreading. So, oh shit, we got we got a huge malaria problem, and now we have fucking unemployment out the ass because it's a scripted event. Oh no, you sense my sarcasm. So we're just gonna make the apothecary go over here. Okay, so because of the fact we have a worker issue, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hey, you know what? Health is actually the most important thing, and then food. And then entertainment is really not that important, and industry is number three. And like, I don't know, we don't have any education. Infrastructure is also very important to us. So, religion and entertainment, you know, religion is sort of important, but I don't want to quit right now. I'll quit, I'll quit when I've lost. Thank you very much. I'm going to just destroy that work camp, because that actually, like, that's like 20 fucking people right there, so. Because of this dumbass scripted event, uh, we just have to deal. So, it's only entertainment that's suffering for us right now. Which is like, it's not a big deal. Like, especially because, like, these guys have to upgrade with random ass shit, so. It's, they, they can deal with a few less people, you know, right now. But the guy should come around if we see risks for malaria. Uh, pretty fucking high, but the guy that's supposed to manage that shit should be walking around right now. Apparently no workers live nearby this. It takes a while for the, for the basically the game's like, kind of like pathing system to determine like, it doesn't check for when like people are supposed to be there. Because this is on a road. I should mention that to you. It's on a road. It's so good. Like, it, it can easily be kind of occupied. But the game just hasn't registered that it workers can live near it. Oh, and here we have more people coming to fucking Deathville over here. And we're also pretty good here. So we have also some more fucking detrimental problems. Maybe at some point we will uh, have the ability... Okay, we have more malaria because the fucking apothecary isn't like doing anything and also we're running out of money again luckily our unknown benefactor helped us out here he had our back so we also have the ability to make a storage yard which i should actually do so we'll make it like right here so what the storage yard is for is you can store well different kinds of things generally what i do is i say things like figs and clay we don't accept we do only accept pottery because we only really want pottery from this place because um, clay is a raw resource and one clay pit will easily supply two things of here uh, to actual like industry things so it's like one raw material for every two industry is how I usually do it and then like all the all the food should be going to granaries anyways so you know fucking forever malaria lack of jobs deter immigration well that's fine with me what do you mean lack of jobs we're fucking missing people we need we need highly skilled fucking people to come over. Collapse building. Oh right, of course. That could be an issue. Maybe maybe one day I'll get the ability to. Uh, oh, fuck it. Let's do architect's post and firehouse here. Does this actually need to be connected to this one? Oh no, it doesn't. Kick ass. All right, so th this is how we're gonna cheat the system. Is this this very own road of shrines gets its own like. Like firehouse and shit, so I do it. The pathing is perfect. You see, it's, it's absolutely flawless. One day it'll give me some ability to make some better shit, but not today, apparently. But luckily, they're all upgrading now. People are very pleased with me. Fill a storage yard with pottery, so 
apparently just no workers near it. It's just impossible. Right, but luckily all this is going on right now, so. How many people do we have right now? We have nine unemployed. We're gonna remake this uh, work camp probably now. Uh, in a moment. Uh, let's just let these guys go. So these guys are going like, they don't know where to go. There is a place to go here. And let me actually see if I can kind of like shenangle my way around this thing to actually see how the road is going on this guy. Yeah, dude, it's totally got a road near it. This game is, this game is being an asshole. See, look, there's a fucking road here and there's a storage road here. So why are you not like populating with people? Who knows? As a, it's a bit wonky with this mechanic, but it's an older game. So like you can imagine like, you know, it's not going to be checking every fucking second to see if like there's a path available to this building. Right, so I, I just, I made it easier for it to path it over here to determine that there's like, there's workers that should be able to work at it. So it should kind of do its thing real soon. And it's still not doing it, but that's okay. And also we need, I think, more fucking, uh, more granaries. Oh, more malaria. Thank fuck. You know, I just, I, you know, I thought to myself, I'm like, this place definitely needed more malaria. It, it's, it, it makes any town just amazing. Alright, let's play a physician back here, because apparently we just can't, or a pocket there. I don't know what the, what the two are for. I just kind of randomly place these two buildings, and then usually things work out. Oh, there we go. The storage yard is now uh, populated. We'll go back to our default view. So things should be okay now. And the desirability of this place is apparently shit. Here we go. That's it. So, um... Right now, I've been kind of band-aiding our desirability problems with, uh, what is shrines, which I'm not supposed to do, really. Well, you can, but you're supposed to do it differently than I am. I'm just being lazy. And, um, these are, like, these are the two most important things, and they just gave it to us now. And here we have roadblocks. Roadblocks, extremely important. Uh, you'll see why. So this is about, um, the pathing. So it says, uh, city's workers. They're just kind of roamers. That's what they really are, kind of a thing. And we also have water crossings, so in case we want to get across water, we can have that. And there's also a bridge for that as a ferry. So, what we're going to do is... Fuck all this shit. You, you can have a wonderful ass garden right behind your home. Look at this shit. Now they'll never complain again. Except that some people were leaving their fucking houses, but that's fine. And you can also place plaza plazas, but they're only on roads. And the roads that... You see that kind of how that tile is a bit thicker? Right there, like a thicker road, you can place a plaza there. And like in various other places too, apparently, but... Um... Eventually, like, it's, like, basically the desirability has to be high enough, you can't just willy-nilly play it. Place it, but the reason, like, I was able to place one there, but not here, is, like, it's because, like, there's shitty houses here. But as the der as the desirability of these places improves, um, they're gonna upgrade, like, yeah, there you go, they're gonna upgrade real fast. And I can guarantee you we can build a... a thing over here real fast. Apparently not. Apparently we just lost. So plazas are also pretty good for increasing the desirability of everything, so. Uh, so what do these guys need? Uh, too little entertainment to be found. Well, that is not something we can solve, unfortunately. How many, what's our objective? Population of 600. Well, we have, ma we have beaten that majorly. Um, I don't know what to do besides make more fucking juggler schools and shit. So I guess that's what we'll do. And you can see Mike's extreme laziness at work here again, how I'm fucking just kind of putting like a booth over here. Shit, that's not a proper one. It's not an intersection. See, you're supposed to make it over an intersection like this and kind of just do that. So I can just kind of destroy that. There we go, see? I basically do everything in my power to not do what I'm supposed to be doing. And just kind of like... Crime this system. Alright, here we have our first roadblock, right there. So now, the people like the... Like, people that actually are supposed to be here and working, they will, they will be able to pass through. Actual people, like the people that give water and fire hazard stuff, will not pass, pass through this crap. So, that's excellent for us. And, you know, we can have a well over here as well. So, we have more than sufficient food now, and for some reason she's going to go give food to the, the poor people over there. Okay, and what's, what's our objective? So, we have to make, what do we have to make? Ten modest homesteads. These are ordinary cottages, and they're complaining about too little entertainment. 
And re realistically, the only way you can fix that is by making more fucking juggling places. So, let's go try and make more juggling places. And we'll also make like a juggler school like over here or something. Wouldn't you want to live beside a juggling school? Of course you would. That is like the prime location, prime real estate. And what are these guys complaining about? Crude hut. Who has a crude hut? Apparently these guys keep losing access to their water source, so you know what we can do? We can solve that by just putting a random water supply like right here. So now there's like, cause like the guy who's supposed to be walking down here was not walking down here for some reason. Uh, cause he's an asshole, so. So then he's like making, he's like, there goes the neighborhood. You know? Then the poor people come in and they're disgusting apparently, so. This game is very, very discriminatory. These disgusting poor people in, in Egypt. Apparently the potter is a met- You know what? You know what this guy deserves? This guy needs- This guy needs gardens. Cause you know what? You know what? He's earned it. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Look, all upgrading everything. Even though he lives beside the potter. Look at him. He's so fucking happy right now. Um, so... I, like, I don't know how to make them upgrade any further other than making more jugglers. Cause we have access to no other, uh, buildings for this shit. Tell the desirability of the area improves. Well, you know what? We have a solution for that. It's plazas. All right, so you know. Oh, you know what we can do? You know what? I have. I have an idea for entertainment. I have an idea. Do what's entertaining. Destroying several blocks of housing. No. Um. I have an idea. We're gonna make a fucking festival square. Maybe that's entertaining enough. Because I'm trying to think here of how to raise entertainment, and that is like the only thing I can think of. Yeah, we, we don't care about debt, that's fine. You gotta spend money to win missions. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's have a look at what what happens here. So they should be incredibly happy that I'm doing this. This is like the worst fucking layout I've ever fucking done. Because like, I can't add any more jugglers. <laughs> so I don't actually, I literally do not know what to do. And we can't do anything on the map of the world, so. You know, we need we need another work camp over here. All right, and there's the there's the fucking dangerous hippos. That's fine because our, our one cop will, will manage it all. You know what we also need we also need a fucking not police station. Hopefully not. That. Hopefully we don't need that. But we need an architect post and fire station. You know that every time that you think you need you don't need it, you probably need it. So like, look at all this shit that's gonna catch on fire. Well, no, it's not. See, these things never catch on fire for some reason. But crime never pays. Several crimes reported recently. Yeah, see? Oh, like he's, he's taking care of that. No fucking slums on his watch. And now I'm starting to get a bit confused on why these buildings aren't upgrading, so I'm going to actually look this up now. Okay, I just realized what the problem is. Apparently, I thought this was only a problem on Very Hard. This is one of those missions that's actually impossible to beat um, on Hard, apparently, as well. So... What happened was that apparently in the Cleopatra expansion, the jugglers got nerfed. They don't do they're not as effective. So I've been wasting my time with this, so I should just change the difficulty to normal. I have no I have no option. I already won. <laughs> like I already won. Once I uh, I don't want to continue governing, but they they instantly upgraded because they actually met the criteria on normal difficulty, but they were nerfed in this um well just pretend I beat it on hard. Superb. Your own citizens are beginning to look to you as their caretaker, and neighboring cities also hail you as a provider in times of need. Yeah, so that's all you can do is because, as I said, you, it's literally impossible to meet the entertainment requirements for those buildings because of the fucking expansion. So whatever. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.